Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I wanted to share with you guys how I have been planning in the Daily Duo. So I've kind of ventured into using the Daily Duo over the last few weeks or so. I'm not even sure that it's been a whole month, but I've been really, really enjoying the size and with what I'm currently needing in my life with having to plan a lot of things ahead. So having to use like sticky notes and things like that to put in future dates for things that are coming up. It's been kind of important to me to be in a system like this and specifically this size, which I've really, really been enjoying. Um, so I don't really use kits in here. I, I use like leftovers of kits and I haven't used the monthly either. That's something that I'll have to figure out if I stay in this system. A lot of days, it's a lot of just, just pen, like literally just pen. Every now and then I will pop in um, one of the celebrations collections dates in here. But other than that, it's really been me keeping it very simple. Um, I use a lot of leftovers from kits. If I do decide to use stickers or samplers, I did get like the big sampler pack that Kristen recently um, released. And yeah, that's really been it. Like these are all from other leftover celebrations collections kits just to kind of add a little something to it. This date is actually one of my favorites. This is all literally pulled from my leftovers sticker book. So this is a sticker book that's actually from Once More With Love. I flipped around the cover and added some Chrissy Ann Designs stickers on it. And this is where the majority of my leftovers of kids go. They get sorted by color for the most part. Um, every now and then there'll be like entire kits towards the back. I even have sheets of Steve's in here because I love them and there's a Steve for every mood. But here is a like winter kit that I had a lot left over in a lot there was there was quite a bit <laughs> I literally I just bought way too much um and then some other like leftovers of samplers this was also another kit that I bought a lot of stuff from same with this one I recently used this one but I definitely could use these in my daily this week again I don't buy kits these are leftover event labels from monthly <laughs> things. Um, I do really keep everything. This is what was left over from my hand complaint kit. And that's what I actually used for this day on here. And this is like what is still left over. So I really do try to make use of all of my stickers. So today we're going to plan Monday and moving forward, I may actually try to um, plan out a few more daily pages. If that's something that you are interested in, definitely let me know down in the comments. So I'm not going to use date covers, anything like that. That's not really important to me, especially in a dated planner. Have I used them before? Absolutely. I'm trying to find the page where I used them in March. There's it like a couple of days where I used date covers. Actually, it was literally just a couple of days. I didn't use it for very long, like just a four days. <laughs> and then I was like over it. Um, I'll use them sometimes, but not, not a whole lot. Okay. So let's start off with Monday. So what I want to do is grab my stencil from Chrissy and designs. Um, here it is. So this was a stencil that was released uh, last year during, I think it was her anniversary release. So it's not on her website. It is really hard to picture because everything is light behind me. Let me grab this notebook. Here you go. <laughs> you can kind of see all of the things that are on there, but um, I love this and I've been using it almost every day in my daily. So first thing that I want to put down is my AM routine. And actually I will put, let's flip this around. So we'll do AM routine. Then I also put like underneath it, like a subtask is my medication and vitamins. Don't really have a reason why other than the fact that I like the way that it looks and I personally like a lot of planner people like checking things off. So <laughs> it might not make sense to you, but it makes sense to me and that's how I like it. So there is that. Then I also want to put another little task mark right here. Um, and that's going to be dinner prep since I will be working in the office on Monday. I want to make sure that I have a plan or at least I'm following the plan for dinner. So that means taking out anything that has to be um, prepped for dinner on that day. All right, let me grab a EC ruler 
and I'm gonna mark out the time for work. I'm gonna go just a little bit later because I honestly should have put dinner prep just a smidge higher, and I'm just gonna use a dashed line for the most part. That's what I have used for my work time, and I my schedule is actually eight to four, but I am that person that goes in a little bit earlier. I like my peace and my solitude in the morning at work, so I'm actually normally at work at seven. <laughs> Um, it's just, it works out that way, especially if it's a day where I have a new hire starting and I have to do their orientation. Um, they typically arrive at eight. So that means I need to, I need to do some things in the system before my day actually starts. So I'm going to grab a Chrissy and Designs work sticker. Um, let's see, I'm thinking of like, what color scheme do I want to go with? I could just go with gray, but it looks like that page is this purple color. Is that the color of April? It's like, yeah, like a indigo almost. It's not purple, it's not blue. But I think for the day, I'm just trying to think of what color scheme I want to go with. We can go with an all purple day. It doesn't really matter. But I'm just gonna put work there and then let's see. I know that I have a 9 a.m. meeting. Not the most pleasant meeting, I'm not gonna lie, but it's something that we have to do for uh, one of our employees. And I may actually use this kit, some of the things from here, that would be awesome. Again, like I said, I think that you can use whatever in your dailies, but this gives me a chance to use up things that um, need to get used up that I otherwise might not use up if I wasn't using a daily, you know? All right, so there is my 9 a.m. meeting and I might put a Grumpy Steve somewhere in here. Yep, let's go with this one. Not, not so happy Steve. Okay, then I have got my lunchtime. Let's go back to that kit and see if there was anything in there that I could use. Where is it? It is hiding on me. <laughs> might squeeze in this flag sticker for lunchtime. And then I have got a 3.30 meeting. So we'll put that right about here. That'll work. Okay, so that is really it for the work schedule. Now I want to mark out or carve out some time for dinner and I think I'm gonna put it right about here at 5.30. And we are having I'm trying to think, what did we decide earlier? Lemon pepper chicken and, vegetable, and vegetables. Okay, then Monday is a workout night. I don't think that I have anything that specifically says, um, or that's in purple for working out. Not totally sure. Ugh, this is not working out how I wanted it to. I'll just keep flipping through. But I think what I'll just use is this skinny event label. Again, it just gives me a chance to use up all the things. And I think we'll put the workout right about here. Hoping to get on a Peloton ride because that would be fun. Haven't done that in a while. We've been doing some other videos. Um, and that's been fun, but I'm ready to get back on the bike. I started to feel like some really bad soreness in my hip over the last like two weeks. So I thought, well, we'll take a break from the bike and hopefully that's not the issue, but yeah. All right, let's do a somewhat happy Steve. <laughs> Cause we're gonna, we're gonna pretend that we're excited about, about working out. There we go. Okay, now on, actually one more thing. I wanna put a PM routine spot right at the bottom here. I've never understood why there isn't an 8 p.m. here. Like, it's blank. It's not blank up here. Like, they didn't go up another space and leave it blank, but down here, there's a space and there's no time. I don't know. Just things that make you, like, <laughs> scratch your head <laughs> with, with planners. All right, so there's that. Next up, I sort of split up the to-dos. I leave a little bit of space for content things, and I think I'm just going to do a dashed line across right here and then use that last skinny event label from this kit to write out content. That way I can kind of just mark off what this space is for right here. Okay, and I'm gonna start with that instead of the things on top, but here it is going to be sharing my 
weekly plan with me because that video will go up early Monday morning. Then I'm gonna want to get to comments and messages and hopefully I will get a reel put up. I have a bunch of reels that I have actually filmed ahead of time, but they can be used in so many ways that I keep changing my mind. Like, what is this? What is the purpose of this, you know, reel? I could do any sort of text with the reel and it would still make sense. <laughs> so I have about like 10 or 15 of those when I just don't feel like posting any other content and it's been kind of fun. But um, now I'm kind of like, um, let's see, I really have to make a decision on some of these because they've been kind of sitting there for um, quite a while. And then of course the usual for me is to check on emails. All right, so for to-dos on Monday, I know it's going to be put away laundry. It isn't Monday when I'm filming this, but I know myself and I don't always get everything put away on Sunday, so that's why I am writing this right now. Then we're going to run the Roomba downstairs. So we typically Roomba and mop on Sundays, but we have two dogs who shed like crazy, so we still have to Roomba the next day. That's just how it is. <laughs> okay, then um, hopefully after work, maybe I need to drop off my Stitch Fix at the post office because uh, it's just been sitting by my front door and I went yesterday, totally messed that up. Um, I went to the post office yesterday and they were already closed. I thought they closed at noon, they close at 11. Now I'm like questioning myself. We got there just after 11 and they were already closed, so. They were definitely not open. Oh, that does not look awesome, but it no longer says return. <laughs> All right, and then I think that that might be it for now. I have been taking this with me to work, and as I've been thinking of things, I just add them to the to-do list for the day. But I did wanna put, I noticed that I still had a sticker from a sampler and I just wrote on my page with my pen, but I kind of want to layer it with a full box that goes with this kit right here. So this one and maybe like that. I didn't realize it was so small, so now that's kind of not making sense. <laughs> um, let's see, maybe we can layer a Steve on there. So like planner Steve he's just hanging out right there there's a lot of Steve's on this one page like I said just kind of putting things together and making it um, work the other thing that I wanted to do I knew I was forgetting something was putting the weather up there and for that I think I will use you know it would be cute one of these smaller oval stickers because the weather doesn't have to be so massive and on Monday, the high is going to be 77 and the low 62. Oh, I kind of love those for weather. That's awesome. I have a ton of these and I never like really use them a whole lot. And now I'm like perfect for weather. Then if it changes, you can just peel it right up and you are good to go. All right, so that is it for Monday. I hope that you guys enjoyed this daily plan with me. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you're already subscribed, make sure you click that red notification bell so that you know when my videos are posted here on YouTube. As always, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.